If there was any negative feedback at all from the most recent and final trailer for Star Wars The Force Awakens, it was the complete <laughs> lack of Luke Skywalker. When asked about the absence of the quintessential Star Wars hero from any of the marketing, director J.J. Abrams has said the following. These are good questions to be asking. I can't wait for you to find out the answer. It's no accident. Mark, do you buy or sell J.J.'s statements? I, I buy it. I was one of those people where the Star Wars trailer ended and my first thought was, no Skywalker, and then five minutes later when I had a chance to calm down, dry my tears, change my pants, I was like, you know what? This is actually the right way to sell this movie because now we're wondering, we're curious, where the hell is Luke Skywalker? The marketing for this movie is a mirror image of what the movie is going to be. You might not get a lot of Luke Skywalker, but when he comes on screen, my God, is it going to be exciting to see. Yeah, I like I on this show I talked about the, just uh, like 24 hours before the trailer dropped. I'm like, oh my god, if if they show Luke, right? We like, were talking about like, that. Even just like a green right, lightsaber shows right. up. Like I, if they had shown, bear with me as I repeat what I said before. But they had shown that four scene with Kylo Ren with his lightsaber out and he's facing and maybe he's just beaten uh, Ray and Ray's down on the ground like this. No, nah, nah, nah. and then you know you see Kylo Ren turn around and behind him is Luke mother effer Skywalker <laughs> and he turns on his lightsaber and is about to proceed to kick some <laughs> some ass I, I mean I I literally would have pissed myself I literally would have pissed myself with joy now it wasn't there and the trailer was still amazing I and, and I think it this was the right move clearly they are trying to keep the Luke stuff under so much like burying under so much stuff right now and I, you know, I got a feeling, remember they said when that first wave of toys came out, they said actually everything, all the stuff in the toys is all from the first act of the movie. Right. I am not going to be shocked or surprised if everything we've seen in that trailer is like from the first half of the movie. Mm. I won't be surprised about it at all. They want to keep this Luke thing under wraps. I get it. I understand it. I would have been very happy had they showed us up. He clearly has a plan. And look, they've got more stuff planned because there's a reason they're not telling us Ray's last name. They're not telling us mm -hmm. um, uh, Finn's last name. They're keeping all that hidden from us for now. I got a feeling it's going to come out before the movie actually releases, but I get it. I understand it. And so I buy his comments. Yeah, I do too. I mean, I you know, I, I'm sure we'll see Luke Skywalker. We know he's in the movie, but the way they've played it, they, you're right. It's a mirror of what the movie's going to be. Yeah. The movie is going to be some kind of a search for Luke Skywalker and to try to find, you know, does he hold the, you know, the, the rebirth of the Force or is he a Sith now? Whatever it's going to be, we're all going to go on that journey with the characters, and that's the way a good story is. You're on a journey and a discovery with the main characters, and you're going on a quest or an adventure. That's what these kinds of films are. So it's very exciting to me, and I totally buy. I guess this is JJ's mystery box. Luke's inside of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. Every movie's got a little mystery, you know? So that's what this is. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.